Hi everyone, it's Kara here from Boho Berry and I am back with a brand new video for you today. And this one is all about traveler's notebooks. Um, for quite some time now, I have been totally intrigued by traveler's notebooks and the traveler's notebook system, but for good reasons, <laughs> I did not go out and buy a traveler's notebook. I knew I guess I knew kind of intuitively how much I would love it, and I know that traveler's notebooks can become quite an immersive hobby or pastime, so I was a little hesitant because I know how passionate I get about these things. Finally, y'all, I just, <laughs> I bit the bullet last week and I ordered my first traveler's notebook. So these are the three that are in my possession at the moment, and I'm gonna show you each of them individually, but I just wanna show you what I got and why. So these first two right here, this was my very first order. Actually, all of these are from Chic Sparrow. She makes gorgeous, gorgeous leather notebooks, uh, Jen Harvey over at Chic Sparrow. And these are both in an A5 size, and I actually just got one for myself and one for my husband. This one on the right is for my husband, and he's gonna be very, very happy when I'm done filming this video, because that means he can have it. I've been holding it hostage. Um, but this is the Outlander leather, and it's in the brown coat color. It's super soft and floppy. And the way a traveler's notebook works, and I'll show you the inside here, is that it has four different bands, or at least this brand has four different bands on the inside where you attach your notebooks. So I have four different um, notebooks from the Goulet Pen Company here. These are Tomoe River paper, so they're really fountain pen friendly, which was important to my husband. So I have these little notebooks and they literally just slide onto these elastics. Now the cool thing about a traveler's notebook is that you can have multiple inserts, you can add accessories, you can add folders and pockets and all of those things, but it's nice because you can have the joy of a bound notebook, but keep them all organized in one cover, which is great. So with this one, I went really simple, uh, no inside pockets, um, nothing extra. I did get the white stitching around the outside because I thought that looked really nice. But this leather, y'all, is super, super floppy and gorgeous. I love it. Uh, my husband's going to love it as well. All right, so I'm going to set this one aside. That is the Outlander in brown coat, and these are all A5 size. All right, so the next one I got, and this is what I got for myself. This is an Odyssey. For those of you familiar with Chic Sparrow, the Odyssey is actually the same leather as Mr. Darcy, except it is distressed. So with the Odyssey, you have the option of getting it plain, or you can add, for a small charge, the cup rings and ink splatters, which I chose to do. I just think it looks gorgeous. But this one, again, I just got no pockets or anything on the inside. I wanted it to be really thin and flexible. So that's why I chose those options. And I actually had some inserts in here for myself last week. And then I don't know if it's, you know how sometimes you're really patient on things and you wait and wait and wait, and then you can't wait anymore and you finally get it. And then they come out with the new one like two days later. <laughs> um, that is what happened to me with this Odyssey. When I shopped at Chic Sparrow, I thought I was in love with this. This is the siren color of the Odyssey, and I do very, very, very much love it, and I will be using it. But two days after I purchased this Odyssey, I saw an announcement in the Chic Sparrow group that Jen put up two new colors, the Hera, and I think I might be misquoting this. I think the other one is called Poseidon. But yeah, so <laughs> those of you that know me and have watched my channel for a while, you know that this is my color. Teal is my color. I saw this notebook and I was like, that was made for me. That was made for me. That's mine. I'm getting it. So two days after <laughs> I got 
one for me and one for my husband, I ended up purchasing this Odyssey in Hera. And this one is a deluxe, which means that it has pockets on the inside. So without showing you too much of my inserts so far, um, it has these card pockets on the right hand side. And then on the left, it has a secretarial pocket and a nice big thick pen loop. I actually put my Twisby in here so you could see how nice and thick this pen loop is. You can fit any pen in here, y'all. This is great. So yeah, um, I had to buy this just a couple days after I purchased my other ones and I'm so glad that I did. It's just absolutely my color. It's gorgeous. I love it. I will probably be swapping between this one and the Siren from time to time when the mood changes. But for the most part, I think this is gonna be my main traveler's notebook. Now, I know what a lot of you are wondering is, but Kara, what about your Leuchtturm? What about your bullet journal? Well, I've been toying around with some different ideas and at some point I would like to do nothing but inserts in my traveler's journal and inserts are just these thinner notebooks. Um, for now, I'm only halfway through my Leuchtturm. So I actually added it right inside my traveler's journal. So I don't know if you can really tell what I did here. Let's see if turning this up helps, but I actually fed, let's get these out of the way so you can see. I fed one of the elastics, I untied it, and you can see it right there. I untied the elastic and I threaded it through the spine, so in between the cover and the pages of the notebook so that it holds the notebook in place. And when I open my notebook up, there's no bump from the elastics holding the notebook in there. So that's how I chose to set that up. And I love it. I have it, you'll see my vinyl stickers. Getting old on here, it's really peeling. But yeah, so I have this set up right in the middle and then I have one small insert on either side. And these again are the Goulet Pens notebooks. This one is a, I think both of these are just regular dot grid. And then I made myself a little folder I used a cover from an old A5 notebook and I wrapped it in scrapbook paper and made myself a little folder to go around the outside of this notebook. So for now, I am bullet journaling in my traveler's journal and in my Leuchtturm. So we'll flip this open to today, which I still have to color in, but you can see since I put the notebook in the center, it still lays flat. I don't have to take my notebook out. Those of you that have been following along for a while now, you know that back in November, I played around with going into a ring binder, a Filofax ring binder for my bullet journal. And I wanted to do that so that I could segment things a little bit better. I wanted to have a separate section for work, for projects, for my health and fitness and all these things. But when it came down to it, I didn't enjoy the ring binder system because I couldn't just sit on my couch and put it on my lap and write in it. I had to take a page out and write on a hard surface and then put the page back in when I was done. It just got frustrating to me. So I went back into my bound journal and a lot of you, a lot of you said, Kara, try a traveler's notebook. And did I listen? No, <laughs> I just kept on doing my thing. But I have finally succumbed, I've finally done it. So I have my bullet journal in the center and then I have two separate inserts. What's beautiful about this is that I can have each insert be something specific. So actually this top one is going to be for my goals, goals and dreams and things like that. And then my back insert is going to be for health and fitness tracking and Eventually what I would like to do is have a few more inserts and not have the bound notebook in here, have a few more inserts for things like daily journaling and obviously my bullet journal planning, like my weeklies and daily pages. And then the thing that I'm most excited about is having a separate insert for long-term collections. So things that I wanna keep in my journal indefinitely or that are very long-term projects or reference material that I reference often, it's sometimes been a pain to transfer those things from one notebook to the next. And now I could just have one insert with those important things in it and always have it in my journal and then keep my bullet journal going separately. So I'm really, really excited to explore and try all these things out. So this is just a very 
generic overview of what my plans are. I'm definitely going to have a setup video coming soon once I have this completely customized to my liking, but I thought you might like to take a peek and see what I had going on. On that note, I'm going to put this to the side for a second and show you something I've been working on. This is an A5 insert for Traveler's Notebooks, and I created this over the past few days. I wanted to play around with the idea of possibly selling some Traveler's Notebooks inserts in my shop, Boho Berry Papery. So I played around with designing this insert, which is a weekly planning insert, and it's upside down, <laughs> which is a weekly planning insert. And this is gonna be a totally different cover. I just used some scrapbook paper because I wanted to put something on it. But we have a dot grid as the background, and then everything is set up just like my weeklies in my bullet journal. So just like any of my weekly spreads, I've got my appointments, schedule, my current projects, meals, to-do lists, and then some weekly habit tracking. And then on the following pages, and this is super thick paper too, um, I'm probably gonna be using a lighter weight paper. <laughs> I just use this as an experiment. But then I have it set up just how I have my days set up in my bullet journal. So you have the time tracker on top, and then the days of the week, and I have two days per page, and then a small week in review at the bottom. And then this booklet is five weeks long. So this could be one month of your life as kind of a planner insert. And then I did some pen testing in the back just to try out this paper, which it holds up really well. It's like a 39 pound paper <laughs> that I found online. It was really, really hard to find A4 size paper here in the US and I knew that I wanted to make A5 inserts, so I had to have A4 paper. So there's very limited A4 paper supply in the US. It's crazy. Um, but so I picked up this brand, and I really like it, but it's a little bit thick, so I'm probably gonna order some of their thinner paper. This is almost, almost cardstock. But you can see, like, there's no ghosting, absolutely nothing bled through, even really coloring hard with those fountain pens. So yeah, this is kind of a prototype of me playing around, trying to see what this would look like and how it would fit in a traveler's notebook. And then also, like I said, this cover is just kind of a placeholder. I'm thinking about doing white cardstock covers with printed designs that you can color. So it kind of fits in with the theme of my, the rest of my shop, which is all black and white matte stickers that you can color and customize as you wish. And then as you can see, oh, there went a pen flying. All right. And as you can see, you can just pop it on. I have one empty elastic here. And I'm gonna pop her in, just going right into the middle, right there. And there we have it. So I'm not personally gonna be using this weekly yet. I think there's still a lot of tweaks and everything that I want to do to it first, but I just thought I'd show you a little preview of what's going on back here behind the scenes. That is it for today, y'all. I am going to head off and spend the weekend with my daughter. She is officially on summer break, and I don't know what we're gonna do this weekend, but it's gonna be fun. I'll look forward to seeing y'all next week. If you're curious about anything that I showed today, I'll drop some links in the comment box below. And as always, if you have questions, feel free to drop those down there as well, and I will see y'all next week. Bye.